What up, B-Squad? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Miami, Season 5, Episode 3. Episode 3 is titled Date Night Disaster. Ooh, it was it a disaster? But before we go ahead and get into the review, you guys, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, and you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, then do me a solid favor, you guys, and stop taking me out of this date, having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know you can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and sharing the video. And with that, you guys, without further ado, let's discuss the Real Housewives of Miami, shall we? All right, you guys, so we are still at Alexia and Todd's wedding party. Very beautiful, right? So Todd told the story about how he met Alexia. So he met Alexia, he asked her out on a date, and she gave him her business card. He didn't know what to do with the business card, but she said, my number is on it. So he still has the business card. I was like, that is really sweet, right? So he's happy to have his two sons. Like I said in the last review, Lisa, once again, is still stuck on Larsa. <laughs> Lisa is still stuck on this shit with Larsa. So she and Larsa went to the side to have a conversation. And I was just like, I don't have a mortgage. Yes, you do. It's public knowledge. I don't have a mortgage, Larsa. Yes, you do. It's public knowledge. Okay, well, it's public knowledge that you um, you um, were dating a married man. I was like, oh, not Malik Beasley. <laughs> Larsa said that that ain't true. I was like, say what now? That ain't true? You sure? Because it was all over every block. Like, Larsa and Lisa were on Watch What Happens Live last night, and you guys know she's been linked to um, Marcus Jordan, who is Michael Jordan's son, right? Uh, ooh, girl, I just don't, mm. like, what, how old is Larsa? Because I know Marcus is my age. How old is Larsa? Okay, girl, that's not odd that your husband, your ex-husband and his father play together. I know they might not be the best of friends, but that's still kind of odd. But hey, if she likes it, I love it. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Let's pause here and let's move forward, you guys. So let's talk about Julia, you, you guys. So Julia, I love what Julia is, Her, I love what she's doing, right? So Kiki set up this meeting with her modeling agency, right? So Julia is going to meet them because Julia is looking to get back into modeling. And I was like, oh my God, that is cool, right? Like it would be, you know, cause you guys know back in the day, they didn't want models over a certain age a certain, you know, weight, a certain height. But in today's world, they want someone to represent just about everybody. And I love the fact that, you know, um, they're gonna take a chance with Julia, right? So, you know, especially with Julia being Russian, she's a lesbian. So she said lesbian. So I was like, okay, so she's not bisexual. She's lesbian. But I love it, right? So what they're going to do for Julia is, and they're open. She's, you know, I love the fact that she's open, right? So they're going to do some test shoots for Julia as well as create a portfolio for her, put her pictures on the website and see, you know, who, who basically, I, I'm, 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 I'm excited for Julia. Once again, you guys know that I'm, I love Julia, so I'm here for whatever Julia has coming. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And her daughters are happy for her. They feel like maybe with her doing modeling, she can leave the, you know, the cow milking and goat milking and all that kind of stuff alone. But she's not going to do that. She feels like she can do both of them. So let's pause here and move forward. So next up, you guys, we got Alexia. So we see Alexia, so she's at her salon, and Marisol comes down there, right? So they talk about the party, and so the girl that Peter came to the, to the party with, that's the girlfriend that he got into the legal issues with last year. The one that they was, you know, she called the cops on him and the cops arrested him. Now, Alexia, ugh. so, I get what Alexia was saying in this particular moment, right? I get Alexia. So Alexia is saying that, you know, with Peter, I guess they must've went out somewhere. They got back home. She was too drunk and she wanted to leave, right? Here's my thing. 
because he felt like it was going to go somewhere. Well, it went somewhere, right? So here's my thing. If you feel like this is going to escalate or whatever, I'll be like, you know what? If you want to go home, go home, but you're not driving yourself home. Let me call you an Uber or a cab. So that way, especially if you get, and if you get her Uber, you can track it. You can, you can share her, you can share her location. So you know where she is, but to try to keep her there, I just don't think that that was a good idea, right? But hey, it is what it is. But Alexia feels some type of way about them being together. I was like, well, I mean, the heart wants what the heart wants, right? And it is what it is. You live and you learn also. So we also then see Alexia and Peter. They went out for lunch or dinner, right? When Peter came in, she asked him, hey, "Was he? did he just wake up? I was like, girl, I don't think he just woke up. I think Peter is high. Peter was giving, I'm um, high as fuck, right? So she was talking about, you know, his girlfriend and, you know, she doesn't want to be like how her mom was when she married his dad and she married um, Herman because her dad, her mom, she said her mom made her choose between the men and her. So he said that, you know, when it comes to his girlfriends, he feels like it is, you know, kind of like hard to get her approval. And she apologizes for that. Right. Girl, if you're a mama bear, you got to relinquish the control a little bit. But hey, that's that. So let's pause here and move forward, you guys. So this next thing, you guys, it was a bunch of nothing. It's Larsa. It's, it's Larsa. With Larsa, she got her dogs. Child, Larsa's dogs are worse than Kyle's dogs. I mean, that dog just, when she got out the car, the dog went to chase after another dog. I'm like, girl, your dogs are about as bad as Carl, Kyle's. So she's meeting up with the dog trainer, right? And I was like, girl, you ain't got no kind of control of these dogs. Because that dog, just that one dog, King, he just kept jumping all over her. But with the trainer, he would listen to what the trainer was saying. I was just like, okay, girl. So Larissa runs down the line of all the things she does. She does OnlyFans, her, um, her Larissa Marie jewelry. She got a dog. She invested in a dog collar. She basically wants us to know that she's not living off of Scotty's money. I'm like, girl, okay. Who are you trying to who are you trying to convince? You or us? I think it's you. We don't give a damn. Period. Don't give a damn. But hey, get it how you live. Get it how you live, Larsa. You an independent woman doing it for yourself. Shout out to Candy. I couldn't care less. I really don't. I truly don't. Do you guys care about Larsa? How she gets her money, where she gets her money, what she does with her money? Let me know in the comments. And we're going to pause here and move forward. All right, you guys. So next up, we see Nicole. So we see Nicole. She's at the beach. So everyone is joining. It's Nicole, Julia, Alexia, Gertie, Kiki, Andriana, and no Lisa and Larsa. <laughs> so they do talk about the fact that Lisa and Larsa got into it at the wedding, right? I will say, though, that the ladies did make some very, very valid points about Lisa. Lisa is saying that she runs the finances in her home. I was like, are you, you sure? Somebody like Lenny doesn't give me the fact that he would, he would even be cool with his woman running his finances. That doesn't give me, Lenny doesn't give me that, right? And, um, actually, let me backtrack before I talk about that. So Nicole, they talked about her mom and her dad. So her mom got COVID, right? And her dad was there by her mom's side. I was like, oh, that's sweet. And so Alexia told Nicole, basically what I said earlier in, the, in the episode in episode three review, right? My thing is, like I said, if Nicole wants a relationship with her father, take the good with the bad. That's all I got to say, right? Take the good with the bad. But back to Lisa. So, like I said, Lisa says she runs, she takes care of the finances in her home. I was like, girl, I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. And then, you know, they're saying that she doesn't have a mortgage. All the women said that they don't really care if she has a mortgage. And I mean, I was like, who cares? Like, 
it doesn't mean that you're broke. It just, I mean, you're just paying on the mortgage. You took a loan out. What's the big deal? Like, so many people do it. So, where are we at? Where am I at? So, yeah, they talk about that, but they also talk about the fact that, they, like I just said about Lenny, they don't think that she knows anything because Alexi is talking about she found out stuff after she and her, that she didn't, she was on basically like on a, on a allowance with Herman. Adriana didn't know that some, like, I don't think, I think Alexi said her name wasn't on, on the, on the, on the deed. And, uh, um, Adriana said something about her ex-husband as well. And all they want, um, Alexia, not Alexia, but for Lisa to do is be like, is my name on this deed? Because <laughs> if something happens, he can try to put her out. And actually, yesterday I was looking, I, I, I Googled Lenny, Lenny's name, and he did, like, during the process of them going through this divorce, he did ask a judge to remove Lisa from that home. Like, he did ask a judge to remove her from a home, and I think that is fucked up. Like, this is the mother of your two kids, and you want her and your kids removed? That's that's janky. That's janky. It's a special place in hell for um for Lenny, who looks like a goddamn ninja turtle. Um, they do. They feel like like Lisa's in the dark. And honestly, you guys, I'm going to be real. She is in the dark. Let's pause here and wrap up with Lisa. All right, you guys. So Lisa, 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 Lisa. So Lisa has set up a romantic dinner for she and Lenny. And I know she probably, I don't know what she was thinking in this moment. I don't know where her mindset was, but if you look at the way that Lenny is treating her, talking to her, the writings are literally on the wall that this man has exited from the marriage. Like it's evident. Like when they were having that dinner, he seemed completely disinterested in anything that she wanted to talk about. The only time that I saw Lenny kind of light up was with their son when he showed him the pizza that he made. Other than that, with Lisa, it was just stone faced. He's always into his phone and stuff. And I'm like, you don't see that this man is texting while you guys are having, like, I just, part of me really does feel bad for Lisa because I'm like, you can't, I, I don't know if Lisa maybe did see it and she just didn't want to, to own, you know, own the fact that there was issues in her marriage. Cause I feel like she, I feel like part of Lisa had to know that there was some issues in the marriage. So while they were having dinner, at one point somebody came outside to tell them that the nanny slipped and fell and broke her arm, right? So Lisa went in the house and she wanted to call the ambulance. Lenny is telling her, no, you don't call the ambulance. And she's like, I should call the ambulance. And he's like, no, you don't call. I'm like, it ain't that deep. Like I got where he was coming from. I did get where he was coming from to like ba basically bandage it up, put some ice on it and get her to the hospital. I got what he was saying. Basically he's saying, don't waste the resources of calling an ambulance for someone else who might need it. I got his sentiment, but the way he was talking to her was just a hell no. And then the clip from next week's, well, not next week's, but episode four, the clip from episode four, where he was like, he's going to be single soon. Does she know? No. I was like, oh my God, Lenny's an asshole. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, you guys. Share the video, and until the next time, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Wash your hands, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.